Hey guys, welcome to the Weekly Next. This might be a week of Persona. Two remastered Persona games are releasing. The latest Fire Emblem game is set to launch, and more. Without further ado, let's get right into it. From the Midnight Channel to the Dark Hour, two iconic Persona titles return. Persona 3 Portable and Persona 4 Golden are newly remastered for modern and will come to consoles on January 19. The Persona games are masterpieces and they deserve to be played by the widest audience, possible regardless of where that audience is. The shift to making Persona titles widely accessible across platforms means exposing an even greater number of people to the joys of these ridiculous, wonderful games. Said by TapTap Editor, this legendary title will cover all platforms except mobile. I can't wait to see the silky smooth gameplay on my PlayStation 5. Thanks to the Persona 25th anniversary, I finally can play Persona 4 Golden and Persona 3 Portable on Switch or any other console. It's time to jump on these masterpieces. And also, Atlas has detailed new features of these two remastered ports, which include high-resolution graphics, the ability to choose your difficulty level from the start, quick save, and an album feature for Persona 4 Golden. These two remastered are made for the modern platforms, and I can't wait to know the dramatic story and explore that glamorous world. Following the Persona 25th Anniversary Remastered Bundle, the first Switch exclusive in 2023, Fire Emblem Engage, will release on January 20. In this newest release of this series, you can engage previous ambulances by rings and equip their abilities. Sounds pretty imaginative. And as an anniversary game, it covers a lot of elements. Engaging also allows you to use items, abilities, and more from these legends in battle in addition to merging appearances. With the all-new Engage system, turn-based tactical warfare is returned with more layers of strategy. Besides the combat system, you can also participate in a range of facilities and activities to build relationships and get ready for impending battles by exploring your base of operations. Somnail. Sounds like a simulation in this way. I've already pre-ordered it. And don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss out on any upcoming releases. And we also have two new mobile games released this week. UFO 99 is a 1 to 4P local Wi Fi multiplayer co op flying arcade game. Will come to iOS on January 19. You can perform your best flying, speeding, and dodging skills with your favorite character, and most of them are cute animals. In this vibrant universe, block monsters can be discovered floating around, so be careful. Grab some heavy hammers, then bash them. Continue to face challenges in order to rank and score better. If you can't wait till then, you can also download it on TapTap by searching for UFO99 right now. And our ending game of this time is a TPS game provided by NetEase Global, ZOZ Final Hour. The game stage is set in San Diego, the zombie city. Fifteen mercenaries, including you, sneak into the city to gather blood crystals, a mysterious substance that is worth hundreds of billions of dollars, and holds the key to the survival of humanity. Only if there are enough blood crystals will you be allowed to retreat. But be careful, Merc. Humans are the real danger here, not zombies. If you like shooting games, you can give this one a shot. Or make sure you are in the specific regions. I'll write them down in the description. Don't forget to check it before playing this game. Okie dokie, that's all for this week's new releases. A brand new year of gaming is finally here. And if these aren't for you, maybe roguelike survival games are. Click this video to explore the new genre of roguelike hot games that match the mayhem of the extremely popular vampire survivors.